we actually didn't even have to put them on the headline. We didn't yeah, even have yeah, for, yeah, for the yeah, show yeah. to have been a success. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah, yeah. Facts. But it's still like that is an artist that you pay to book. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. So these are the things like, wow, yeah, didn't even have to do that. Yeah, you know, um, that's funny. So you learn, you know, yeah, but at the same time, absolutely. it was like locale is also interesting too, because we figured, yeah. yo, in this in New York, that wouldn't have been the case. It would like have, a low key, like, wait, I guess I don't know how low key is. I, so never, is, I don't know. So one thing that that made me realize is you know, really paying attention to those analytics in terms of who listens to artists regionally yeah, is important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah. important because not to, you see artists all the time come out of town and sell out shows, yeah. but you can't just say any fall, any artist that you've seen really do great at a show can just come to your yeah. town yeah. and do the same thing. So this is one thing I was like, oh, kind of over, like over, yeah. you know, we kind of like overestimated yeah. that, kind of got yeah. a little bit more, um, Got to be a little bit more intentional. We yeah. thought we was intentional. Like, ah, we got to yeah. get a little you gotta, bit yeah. more into You got you to know? get, kind of like you said, you got to get into the numbers by the region, it, which is hard to do if you aren't the person yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. something that I kind of learned working with Lauren Lionel is that same, same vibe. It's like you can go. The first show that I ever shot for them was in Philly, where right. they're from. Right. And the crowd was like crazy. I was like, damn, this is a big crowd um, for a podcast that's like the same size as like a podcast that I'm like, oh, I, I work with podcasts this size all the time. Right. But this is a big crowd. You right. know what I'm saying? Then we go to New York. Same kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Sell out. Uh, it's a it's a pretty New York is a small area, so their venues are smaller. Right, but right, like right. they they sold that out. It was when we went to Atlanta, a lot of motherfucking people. You know what I'm saying? Like Atlanta was probably like as far as like the number of people, biggest the biggest joint. You know what I'm saying? The venue was like probably the biggest venue. Right. And then we go to somewhere like, uh, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I, I don't know. Well, Boston, they had to like X Boston because it just didn't do any numbers. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. They, it wasn't, it, was, it didn't make sense like right. monetarily. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all ticket wise. So let's like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But that's the right. thing. That's the thing. Cause you know, you go into their comments. Usually when they post something, they'll be like, what city should we, what city should we come into? Right. And in their comments, people will be saying all kinds of cities, but right. you actually, you can't just like, take that and that be like oh like we're gonna we're gonna hit that up that yeah because oh. you got to actually see if people are gonna you know what i'm saying if you're gonna sell out a venue or you if you're gonna pack the a place out isn't going to the Lincoln Bank, yeah know, yeah like, not facts facts or yeah. even commenting like come to Don't north dakota you know what i'm saying like right, shit right. like that early, early.